Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, it is I. It is me. It is we. Alright guys, happy Sunday. I hope you've been having a good day. Hope you had a good weekend preparing for Monday, right? Preparing for work and all those good things. We're going to start with Love Jones, guys. Um, if you are new here, you are welcome. OGs, welcome back. Let's just see what's going on with your relationship, guys. What is going on with your relationship? Don't forget, it may or may not resonate, guys. If it doesn't fit, leave that shit on the table. Either way, guys, it will be a good reading. Don't forget to like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. All right, guys, we're having love, Jones, right? Are you feeling it in your left thigh, trying to become the funk in somebody's right? Is that all right? Is that all right? My thoughts of you have multiplied in the best way. So somebody is thinking about you constantly, constantly. Like it's it's multiplication at this point, right? But they're good thoughts. They're good thoughts. And it says, good morning, sweetheart. Sounds good to me. So this person here can't stop thinking about you. Maybe you have had these good morning sweethearts or that's just something that they would like to have with you like to say good morning to you every morning whenever you know so far so good somebody like you somebody like you guys all right let's check on in my feelings they can't stop thinking about you um good morning sweetheart sounds good to them as well so they do like that all right what's going on with the situation they, they think you amuse them. You make them happy. They like your energy. They think you're fun, happy, you're amusing, you're entertaining. Uh, you make them happy. Maybe y'all have a good time when you are together. Ooh, this person is relaxed and calm when they are with you. So you calm this person. You relax this person. Ooh, child. This person likes you. They like y'all being together, right? Holy Spirit, let's check. Love Psychology 101 to see where their mental state is. They have been stalking your social media, though. The only problem is, is no trust. So you make them happy. You make them laugh. They feel relaxed and calm with you. They thoughts of you multiplied in the best way. So they think about you constantly. And good morning, sweetheart. Sounds good to them. However, they stalk your social media, guys, and there's no trust. So even though you make this person happy and they really like you, for whatever reason, they don't trust you. And it's not that you did anything for them not to trust you. Sometimes some people are just insecure. Maybe this person is just insecure with who you are, your energy, your... Like, you, you seem a very amusing and happy. Like, you're probably a happy-go-lucky person. People can probably just come up to you. You could be friendly to everybody. So, they don't trust you, but they like everything about you. They said it's just you. I told you. They just don't trust you. But I think it's personal. I think maybe they just been through some things. They feel insecure. That's where I'm... It's just you. I don't know why. And then it says friendships and lovers. Friendship and lovers. So maybe you have other friendships out there. I don't know. Maybe you're friends with different people and they don't know. Is that a friendship or is that a lover? But see, and you do know how sometimes guys and girls, we do have friends of the opposite sex. And maybe they just can't deal with that. I don't know. Or maybe they just don't know where they lie with you. Are we friendships? Are we lovers? Like, what are we doing? So, they do stalk you a little bit. They just don't trust you. But they love everything else about you, which is crazy, right? What's going on here? Sometimes people mess up a good thing before it even gets started. They shouldn't think that way. Let's just see what's going on with this person. Spirit, what's going on with this person? For these people. It's always more than one. You do bring them joy and stability. You make them happy. You make them happy. They feel stable with you. Maybe they want to marry you one day. Maybe that has crossed their mind. Uh, the point of marriage. 
y'all have a good time when you're together it's the three of cups maybe y'all hang out y'all do different things you're laughing you're playing you're celebrating so you do have a good time when you are together two of cups in reverse so let's see what that is i don't know if your person is coming out of a situation or you are and that makes them insecure we'll get to that in a second let's pull one more card but see they see victory with you all right so or you could also be someone who's in the public eye as well that's my uh social media card as well They want to build with you. They want to reap rewards with you. They want they want to build with you. This person here. King of Swords in reverse. But they feel manipulated. I don't know why. They feel manipulated some type of a way. Or maybe they try to manipulate you. Two of Cups in reverse. They want to balance things. They want to equal give and take. So something could have ended in their life to where they was manipulated before. And maybe that's why they don't trust you. But they need to realize that you are not that person, right? Yeah, there was betrayal. There was betrayal before in their life. They was betrayed before. So this person is insecure. Even though they love everything about you, you have a good time, all of that. It looks like something ended in their life. And they're just hoping for an equal give and take with you. Yeah, see, they're not standing in their strength. It's like they want the joy and stability with you. They want to reap rewards from you, for you, from you, with you. Yeah, they was manipulated before by someone else. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this person here in reverse, they basically kind of use people for money or whatever like that. Take advantage of them. So they was manipulated before. And that's pushing the energy on you as to not trust you. This is a Ten of Swords in reverse. They could have a fear of change. They could have a fear of change. Here, clarify this five of swords. Yeah, they're not sure what they want to do. They was betrayed before. But they're really happy with you. Y'all have a good time when you're together. They just don't know if your friendships, if you're lovers or whatever. It looks like they've been hurt before, definitely betrayed and manipulated before. Spirit, clarify this two of cups in reverse. So something made this person a little insecure. See, they're moving on from an ending. They're coming to you. They're having a good time with you. But they're bringing energy from a past relationship and putting that on you. Even though it looks to me that you haven't given this person a reason to not trust you. Their past relationship. Holy Spirit, King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they was hurt before. They was betrayed before. Five of Swords. Yeah, they found out some secrets. They were betrayed before. And they're not standing in their strength. Spirit, clarify strength part in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Queen of Wands. So this person, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, used this King of Pentacles. But see, the King of Pentacles, when they're in reverse, they blow their money. So they was giving money to this person or whatever. Maybe they felt used and all of that stuff. Spirit, clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. They're definitely looking back at the past, trying to be persistent and move forward. 
They're trying to go forward, but see something ended. Ten of Cups. I told you something ended in their life. And whatever happened in that situation makes them not trust you. Spirit, clarify stalking social media. No trust. Let's take it. Yeah, they're up in their head about you. They're facing their judgment. They don't know what to do. They don't have fear, though. It's like they like you. They're not holding themselves back or anything like that. But see, they were on a karmic wheel before. They were on a karmic wheel before. A lot of bad things happened, right? And something ended. A world ended for them. So that's what it is. Uh, if this is you, Queen of Cups, they're not following their intuition. It's almost like you make them happy. You're loving. You're nurturing. You're all of those things. But their mind is going back to what happened in their past or their most recent relationship. And they were betrayed there. They feel like they were used there. But although you make them happy, they're relaxing, calm with you. They they think about you constantly, this and that. And it's, it's all about you. But their past relationship makes them unsure. So that's why they don't trust you, which is not good. Holy Spirit, clarify friendships and lovers. Lovers in reverse. And three of pentacles. Hopefully they're not trying to make it work with their ex. Because it says friendships and lovers. Right? Right? Or they may think that you have another lover because they're insecure, but they still want things to work with you. They may think you have another lover. Spirit, clarify the lovers in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. They do want a connection with you guys. This person don't know they want to love you or run right they don't know if they want to love you or run away from the connection because of a past connection basically this person spirit said this person still needs to heal they possibly do love you they're offering you love we have the queen of pentacles in reverse here he he or he or she they're coming in as the king of pentacles they're definitely starting over moving on here's the tower but in a way, guys, they still kind of hold back from you because whatever they've been through still frustrates them, but they're trying to be on top of it. They could see you as an empress trying to change and walk away from this situation. So this person here, it's like they like everything about you guys. They just don't trust you. But that is being based on a previous relationship. It's like they're carrying that energy over. So they need to heal that because you're supposed to have a clean slate. You don't have nothing to do with what happened with their past. You know what I mean? And sometimes when you go into a relationship, if a person comes in and they don't trust you, you'll always find yourself trying to show them you can trust me. But you don't have time to prove yourself when you are yourself, right? But then if they don't have no trust that can easily become a crazy relationship because it's like you hang out with your friends, something you've always doing. They're questioning you, da 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 you, you went to go get your nails done and it took you longer than you usually do because you stopped and you got ice cream, this and that. So now they're in your face asking you blah, 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 blah. And nobody wants that. So this person needs to heal that side of them before that can work. Because you're not going to prove yourself to nobody, especially if you haven't done anything. Everything else about you, they like. You're amused. You're happy. You're upbeat. They're relaxed and calm with you. They can't stop thinking about you. They want to wake up to you every morning and this and that. It's all about you, but they just don't trust you, so they stalk you as well. This person needs to cut that shit out because that can turn into a karmic really, really quickly. And, sir, ma'am, if you're watching, you're going to end up losing a good person all because you don't trust because of what the past person did to you. 
you got to stop it. You can't, every relationship is a different relationship. Every man or woman is different. Everybody gets a clean slate. Only people that can mess that up is you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.